Hello everyone, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your daily tarot reading. It is for Saturday, I think it's the 10th of April 2021 for all signs. So as always, it may or may not resonate with you. You decide what resonates. Now I'm going to pull an oracle card and see what we have. So what do we have? Message for all signs, please. What is the message for all signs for the day? Remember, my readings can last a few days longer than when they're released as well, as you know by now. Okay, so what do we have for all signs? Thank you. Okay, so I've got number 23, let the emotions flow. And it's interesting again, I've got number 44, surrender to the flow. Okay. So I've got ideas and inspiration from the angels. Okay, let's pull some cards and see what we have for the day. So what is the message, please, that people need to hear the most for Saturday the 10th of April 2021? Please, angels, spirits, guides. What is the message that people need to hear the most? Uh, we have the Ace of Pentacles, always a lovely energy. The world. Three of Wands. Nine of Swords. Seven of Cups. Yeah, and judgment. I kind of felt that energy. Okay, so yeah, oh my goodness. What about the emotions flowing? We've got the Ace of Cups. But it's happiness. I'm seeing happy tears. I'm getting happy tears for somebody. That's lovely. Yeah, that message definitely popped into my mind. My happy tears. So, and that's what I'm feeling here. You know, it, it feels like there's a release. Nine of Swords is generally stress, anxiety, upset. Um, but for me, it, it doesn't feel like that. It feels like there's some kind of release. Uh, sometimes this can be about negative thinking or something that has been particularly stressful here. But I'm definitely getting the energy here of... of it feels to do with some kind of release because finally some kind of opportunity is presenting itself now the ace of pentacles is that golden opportunity it is you know the hand of god giving you this physical touchable um opportunity it is our conscious reality you might be moving relocating or it could be to do with um, a career business financial opportunity being offered that is finally opening a new door for you it just feels in this energy that there has been a lot of stress, there has been a lot of anxiety, but it feels that there is this beautiful golden gift, you know, that is being given and it, it manifests. I mean, it could be both, you know, moving and relocating. I mean, you could have an offer on a home or you might be making an offer that's accepted. Um, there could be some positive um, offer to do with some financial offer. You know, if you're waiting, waiting for some financial offer on news to do with some kind of finances, it, you know, it can be to do with job opportunities, business opportunities. Um, but there is absolutely some kind of beautiful blessing here. And it feels, I'm definitely getting happy tears. So we have the world. Yeah, because what this opportunity is allowing you to do is step through. There's a completion here. A cycle is completing and a new one is about to begin. And it's very much to do with your hopes, dreams and wishes, you know. The, the Seven of Cups is our hopes, dreams and wishes. And I absolutely see this Ace of Cups as one of those hopes, dreams and wishes coming true here. You know, I see this as one of those cups that you have been taking steps towards. 
going for your hopes, dreams and wishes now. The world card is a card of celebration. It's a card of um, winning through victory, accomplishment, the result and achievement of a lot of hard work, of completing a cycle that has had both good and bad experiences in it. But it's what it's allowed you to do is grow spiritually, emotionally, physically. So this person looks back at the experiences because they understand that they've grown from them, but they're not held hostage to the past. They're stepping into a new phase of their life. So it's a lovely, lovely energy. Because for some of you, there is gonna be an event that's gonna happen and it's coming, your ships are coming in. You know, that's lovely. Um, and it's going to require you to act. Maybe make, make some kind of decision. I mean, this can be quite a big decision with judgment, um, a judgment call, but it feels, it feels beautiful. I mean, it feels something that you absolutely want to do because, you know, this is, we see the awakening of the souls here coming out of the coffins, ready to be judged. And there is definitely this energy of stepping into the light. Um, it absolutely feels in this energy that there is a call to action, a call to rise. Um, maybe, like I said, some kind of decision or choice, but the three of wands is a card of, you can see success. You know, there's the first signs of success. Um, it might not all be I's dotted, T's crossed with the three of wands, but there is absolutely the first signs of success. It's a card of progress, expansion, uh, what you've been taking steps towards, things are beginning to grow, things are beginning to happen here. You can see it coming your way. And it, it is this, it's just, I'm definitely getting happy tears. The Ace of Cups is a card of self-love, but it ultimately it's a card of joy. The beginning of joy, emotional rebirth, um, it feels like there's going to be some event, you know, and on, it could be news or event or something is going to happen that requires you to take action. But my goodness, I don't think you're going to take, think twice about it. This is absolutely in line with your hopes, dreams and wishes. And what you've been wanting to manifest, it definitely feels like some kind of happy opportunity is coming your way. You know, now that, yes, the Ace of Cups can be love, romance, relationships. It can be to do with, um, so some of you may be moving, relocating for love reasons. Some of you, you know, this could be to do with, um, you know, your love is your work. You know, it, it can be this kind of energy. Um, can be to do with a bond, you know, uh, so pets. Uh, new friendships, new love, interests, new creative opportunities that allow you to express your heart fully. But, you know, nevertheless, this is a lovely, lovely energy of emotional rebirth and happiness. So sometimes this Ace of Cups can just be where you, it is the new beginning of being emotionally happy in your own skin. And that is a lovely, lovely energy to have because this is the, the universe, the divine filling you up you are the you are the chalice and you are receiving love and light from the universe with the ace of cups so it's a lovely lovely energy and it's overflowing so i absolutely love this energy like the emotions flow it doesn't feel in this energy anything if i'm definitely getting happy tears <laughs> just so it's obviously meant for somebody there's happy tears coming for somebody Okay, what do we have as a final message, please? Final message for the day, thank you. Yeah, you see, we've got penguin, diamond light activation. Light activations and new energies are coming your way. Yep, be open to receive and welcome them in. Isn't that lovely? absolutely beautiful energies so i hope you enjoyed the reading if you did please do like share and subscribe i hope it's a wonderful wonderful day for you all and i will see you next time thank you